Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Mandelic Acid. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. The alpha hydroxy acid, Mandelic Acid, is used to exfoliate the skin. Acne, hyperpigmentation and aging skin are all treated with it. Mandelic Acid can be found in both over-the-counter and professional chemical peels. Because it is the gentlest of all the alpha hydroxy acids, it is suitable for a wide range of skin types. Background You've probably heard of glycolic acid, lactic acid and hyaluronic acid in the context of skincare. Even in the beauty business, mandelic acid isn't well known as a skincare ingredient. However, as more skincare firms incorporate it into their ranges, this is beginning to change. Mandelic acid is an excellent skincare compound in and of itself. Mandelic acid is a natural exfoliant obtained from bitter almonds that gently exfoliates the skin. It loosens the connections that keep dead cells stuck to the skin's surface, allowing them to shed more easily. The size of mandelic acid's molecules distinguishes it from its AHA siblings. It has bigger molecules than any other alpha hydroxy acid used in cosmetics. When compared to glycolic acid, its molecules are double the size. What is the significance of this? The bigger molecules of mandelic acid permeate the skin much more slowly than their smaller molecule cousins. Because of its gradual absorption, it's considerably gentler and less likely to irritate the skin. Mandelic acid is slow absorbing, but that doesn't imply you'll notice it's sitting on your skin. It simply implies that the acid will permeate the skin's layer at a far slower rate than, say, glycolic acid. All of the sluggish absorptions take place at the molecular level. Benefits Using mandelic acid regularly can help with a variety of skin problems. Mandelic acid's effects, like those of nearly all other skincare products, are cumulative. You will experience better benefits if you utilize it for a longer period. Brightens your complexion. As an exfoliator, mandelic acid refines your complexion. Exfoliated skin feels softer and smoother and looks brighter. Fades hyperpigmentation and melasma. Mandelic acid can help fade hyperpigmentation of all types. Sunspots or age spots, freckles, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and melasma. Helps improve acne blemishes and marks. It can be added into an acne treatment practice to help cleanse pores and minimize comedones while it isn't used alone to treat acne. Mandelic acid has antimicrobial properties, making it particularly useful for treating inflammatory acne. It can also aid in the fading of pimple marks. Soften signs of aging. Mandelic acid is also a modest anti-aging therapy. It can help soften fine wrinkles and may improve suppleness and elasticity over time. However, it will not effectively eliminate expression lines such as those between your brows aptly called the 11s. However, if your skin is dry, mandelic acid has been found in a few trials to help dry skin create more of its sebum or natural oil. Gentle exfoliator for all skin types. Mandelic acid is the gentlest of alpha hydroxy acids, making it suitable for a wider range of skin types, including sensitive and rosacea prone skin. Mandelic acid is typically used without irritating persons who cannot use other HAAs. It's particularly beneficial for skin that's prone to discoloration because it doesn't induce inflammation or hyperpigmentation as other HAAs do. Possible side effects. In comparison to other HAA treatments, mandelic acid products and peels are gentler and less likely to induce negative effects. All alpha hydroxy acid preparations and therapies, however, have the potential to create negative effects. The following are the most common. Skin that is flaky and dry. Peeling. Irritation or flushing. Skin that is sensitive or tender. If you start with a high amount of mandelic acid, these adverse effects are more likely to occur. If you're prone to cold sores, mandelic acid peels may cause an outbreak. 
it's not just mandelic acid. Numerous chemical peels as well as microdermabrasion can cause a cold sore outbreak. Consider having your peel done by a dermatologist rather than an esthetician or employing an at-home peel if you're prone to cold sores. Antiviral drugs might be prescribed by a dermatologist to assist prevent a cold sore outbreak. This is especially important to consider if you're getting peels done in advance of a significant event, such as a wedding. If your doctor thinks it's acceptable, don't mix mandelic acid with prescription topical treatments. Choosing a treatment More products containing mandelic acid are being released to the markets as the HAA becomes more popular. It's wonderful to have so many choices, but how can you know which ones are best for you? Over-the-counter products or cosmeceuticals are ideal for general exfoliation, a brighter complexion and the improvement of small blemishes and discolorations. Mandelic acid can be found in face cleansers and toners, but it's most commonly found in facial serums and at-home peels. Facial serums are products that can be used daily. They're used after cleaning and toning if you're using one, but before moisturizing. If you're using a facial serum, don't wash it off because it's a leave-on product. The majority of mandelic acid face serums are exclusively used at night. Mandelic acid peels made at home are more powerful than serums. You'll only use these a couple of times per week at the most. At-home peels provide faster effects but can also be more painful because they include a larger concentration of mandelic acid. Follow the instructions on the back of your peeled product. It's worth noting that using a mandelic acid product in conjunction with another exfoliator or acne treatment, even if it's over the counter, can result in excessive dryness and irritation. If your skin becomes inflamed, avoid applying mandelic acid on days when another exfoliant is being used, and vice versa. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you so much for watching.